Hello everyone. I have a little break right now in between my day and I wanted to share with you all the healing gifts of sound, sound healing. And I've been working as a physical therapist for the past 21 years and I have discovered that sound is an amazing way to heal, to embody ourselves, to feel more our bodies and to release and process the charges inside of us. There's these little knots of memories. You can think of it as crumbled sheets of paper when, when our heart, when, for example, you say to yourself, I'm not good enough, our heart tenses up. If we put ourselves down, hi Daisy, um, I'm just talking here a little bit about the benefits of sound healing and why I use sound when I do body work and massage and physical therapy and the rationale of why using these bowls is so powerful. So what I was gonna say is our hearts, we walk around with our hearts all day and some of us have had a lot of trauma, a lot we have interpreted our past as hurtful and what happens is our heart gets tense, so it, it creates a knot, and it gets tight and tense and hardened, and we lose the ability to have compassion for other people, because when we don't feel in our hearts, because we've been so hurt, it's really hard for us to feel for others, because everything that we do to others is just a reflection of what we do to ourselves. So when I ring a bowl, whether it's a crystal bowl or a metal, singing bowl, there's a vibration that happens because sound is vibration. And guess what? All of our cells are vibrating all the time. Even though it looks like I have this arm that's dense and, you know, solid, if I look at it under an electron microscope, all my cells are vibrating. They're going like this, super fast. And the more that I feel love, the more faster my cells are going to be vibrating. When I judge, criticize, analyze myself, or I, I'm not good enough, I have to try harder, uh, I'm not enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable. When I do those type of thoughts, my vibration becomes much slower. We feel more dense, we're more matter than wave, because we're waves of energy and particles of energy. And the more wave-like we are, that's when we're in love. That's when we're like, oh my God, I love my body. I love who I am. I accept myself. I forgive myself. We start to vibrate at this higher frequency. So if you're feeling like crap and you're really down on the dumps, depressed, anxious, stressed out, that's a sign that you're very much in your ego mind. Separation. Uh, feeling that you don't have enough or that you're separate from others, that isolation that a lot of us feel is all a sign that we're too much in our ego mind. So when we take a bowl and we put it on top of our body, I probably should have laid down for this one. Um, it's really magic. Well, you don't even have to put it on your body, but it feels so yummy when you do because you can feel it more. Just simply wringing this bowl in front of you causes those vibrations to affect your vibration. And this bowl is for the root chakra. It has a certain frequency, a certain vibration that helps to give me more balance for my root. And the root chakra has to do with feeling safe, feeling supported. We develop it the first year of life. So if our parents responded to us when we were crying, they held us, they fed us, they changed, they gave us all of our needs that first year of life, and you feel safe, you feel cared for, considered, significant, your root chakra is going to develop well. It will be flowing, it will be strong, but if it wasn't, you can just take, I just want to make sure it's the right one, yeah, this one's C, it's the root. You can play this crystal bowl and you can help yourself to balance that chakra because of this frequency. And you can add in the color red and feeling safe. What would that feel like if I was safe, if I did feel supported? And we can start to imagine and create something new. And that's a big part of the work that I do is first and foremost, 
guiding people to learn how to release their fascial system because we hold all our emotions in our fascia. So we learn how to release and process and sound is such an amazing way to turbo boost that whole process because we're 99% made of energy. So when I work with sound, I'm working with the 99.99999% of what you are. So it's actually really beneficial. We're getting more bang for our buck. If I'm only working with you physically through touch, massage, you know, we do mobilization and physical therapy, we do myofascial release, we do different things with the, with the body. I'm only working with the 0.00001% of what you are. And that's why people don't get the quick, rapid results that they get in traditional physical therapy as they do when we integrate physical therapy with sound therapy, with sound healing, with mindset change body work, with vibrational medicine. Everything works so much faster because we're working with what we really are, the whole being that we are, the vibrational being that we are. So it's really exciting to have discovered these tools that have changed my clients' lives and my own life. So I recommend to integrate sound into your daily meditation and you don't have to necessarily purchase a $200 little bowl. Um, each one is about that much, but you can simply be your own crystal bowl, you can be your own singing bowl, and you can simply tone, you can create sounds, and chanting has been around for thousands of years. So let's do a little bit of that for everybody that's home that doesn't maybe have all these wonderful bowls, and then I'm gonna end with a little sound healing for everyone. So let's just get into a comfortable position, and we're gonna take a deep breath in, breathing into our root. I think a lot of us, carry some stress so we can breathe also into our low back so put your hands up over your adrenal glands visualize the color red feeling connected to mother earth the element for the root chakra is the earth and we're going to chant the bija mantra lam three times and as you do that you can feel what the sound does for you so this is about feeling the sound vibrating in your body and allowing yourself to be brought into that state of presence of your beautiful sounds. La Allowing yourself to feel grounded and safe, supported by Mother Earth. I feel there's a paparazzi of angels walking with me wherever I go. I feel that I'm not alone. And the more I feel my wave-like essence of who I am, the more I realize how we're so connected, all of us. My thoughts affect your physiology. What I'm saying right now affects you and how you feel because we're not separate, we're all one. And sound brings us back home to remember that. So this is Lam. Lam. So when you lay down, you can put this one in between your legs. And I'm going to just show you one more thing you can do with these singing bowls. And my friend Ivy Joy, she's selling these. She went to uh, India and she bought a gazillion of these to sell, which is really awesome because they're very authentic. So these were actually made in a little village that they make these for the past 400 years in the village. I just think that's super cool to know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the heart singing bowl and the sacral one, and in Tantra, we connect the heart and the genitals, expanding the energy from our sexual organs to our heart constantly. That's the practice of Tantra. Yes, there's Vic, my shaman, my shaman teacher, Vic Blessings. You can contact him also. He's selling these also with Ivy. And I really recommend at least get one, get one for your heart. Because when we, when we connect to our heart, 
we connect to our soul. And so many of us have been so hurt in the past that we're holding on to all this baggage in our hearts. The more I have released my own self-hatred, self-anger, self-frustration, I literally think I look younger and I feel more light in my body. So I'm gonna put this here on my chest. This is the heart bowl and this is the one for the sacral. So if anybody has a low libido or you want to connect more to the relationship with yourself, with your creative energy, your ability to attract abundance, this is the bowl that you want to put over your pelvis. And if you want to open your heart more and feel more love and self-love, self-acceptance, self-forgiveness, the heart bowl you could put over your body. I don't know how this is going to sound because I've never done it before, but I hope it's not too loud for you. So what I would do is you know, just feel grateful. That's number one step always in the Alba method is to feel grateful. Let's just say that I'm going through a breakup or a loss. I'm still going to be grateful because it's happening on purpose. Everything is on purpose. Let's just say that I have a low libido, I have no mojo, and uh, maybe you're going through menopause or something, or maybe you get menstrual cramps, or you, maybe you want to conceive and have a baby. So be grateful for whatever is going on because it is a blessing. It really is a blessing. Whatever's happening in our lives right now, if you have tension in your shoulders, low back, wherever you're having it, trust that your body is so amazing that it is simply talking to you and trying to get your attention. Definitely reach out to me if you need some clearing of tension, pain, or stress. That's what I love to do is teach people how to do this and do it in a fun way and a pleasurable way too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll start at the bottom with the sacral chakra. And the first thing I could do is just breathe into my uh, pelvic floor, breathe into my hips, my legs. So it also gives me feedback. See when I inhale, it goes up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Because some of us don't even know how to breathe with our diaphragm. So if I lift up the bowl when I inhale, that means I'm using my diaphragm to breathe. And then I'm just gonna hit it lightly. yummy vibration. It's causing this vibration on my belly. I feel it. It's like a little tickle. And on my heart. And then it actually expands into my arms and my legs. I'm getting this massage. get to feel more inside my body in a different way because it's vibrating into my body. And vibration stimulates oxytocin, the love hormone. It's also the connection hormone and the hormone that causes us to have a reduced pain perception. So when I ring the bowl, and let's just say I have pain, my pain perception is going to be reduced because vibration the nerves for vibration are fatter than the pain nerves. It's impossible to be in pain after ringing these because your physiology changes as you're getting the input of vibration. The pain receptors are lessening. It's neurological, it's physiological, it just is. So this is the fun part where when you know the science, you can create a healing approach that actually works and that's what I did. So when we lean back, we lean back into the divine support, the support of our creator, and we feel grateful for whatever is going on in our lives. And another thing you can do is move the stick around the bowl to make it vibrate even more into your body. It starts to go deeper inside your body, which is really cool. So I highly recommend incorporating sound into your meditative practice 
it just adds another component of vibration and embodiment in your physical body. I mean, ultimately, I feel all these spiritual practices lead us to enlightenment, moksha, expansion. However, the doorway in, I feel, is through the body. And then to transcend and, and go beyond that to the vibrational body, you get to integrate all of who you are. Because our physical body is important. It matters. Our little vehicle where we're driving our life around. So let me know what you think of these uh, ideas for using sound and incorporate it into your daily life. It also feels really yummy when you're laying on your back and you have the bowls on your back. And it's just something fun that couples can do too and do some sound healing on each other. So let me know what, how I can be of service to you and I'd love to, I'd love to share with you all some things to do. Um, if you want to learn some Tantra, connection exercises, how to get more awakened in your libido, and how to learn how to process your emotions and your tissues. So if you have chronic pain for more than three months, safe to say it's probably related to something emotional. And I've been doing this for over 21 years, and it's just not a coincidence that if you have a lingering pain and you've gone to acupuncture, you've gone to physical therapy, you've gone to the chiropractor and you're still not feeling totally released, it's because there's probably something else going on there, a belief that needs to shift or maybe some type of energetic trauma that you're holding in your tissues. Let me know, I'm here for you and I love to be your rapid healing activator and also pleasure activator because it's not enough to just heal and release. What are we gonna do once we've healed and we've released? And this is where we start to say, well, what do I wanna create? How do I wanna feel? And in, that's where the Tantra work is so beautiful because can you imagine everyone walking around fully expanded and awakened in their orgasmic energy? I mean, I think we'd all look a lot younger and we'd be thinner, lighter, freer. We wouldn't even wanna go to those munchies because we're so ecstatic just being who we are. So I see that for our world and I'm here to infect everyone with this inner joy feeling that's so empowering and magnetic. And um, you can go to my website, michellealva.com and download a free meditation there to connect you to your center and ignite your soul's joy. Because when we get in touch with this muscle right here, the diaphragm, and move it through its full range of motion, you get to experience a better sleep, you get to experience calmer intestines, and your heart gets to expand. It's just a byproduct of contracting that muscle. It's so amazing how nature designed it so that when you contract your diaphragm, you get to open your heart and you also get to open up your pelvis. And a lot of us are sitting in a chair for six to eight hours a day. And our hips, they wanna move, you know, they wanna dance. And we don't get to do that as much. So definitely check it out, michellealva.com. Have a beautiful day, everyone.